Welcome to today's class. Today we have a math problem for women. Yes, for women only, not men. Okay. Uh, I will tell you the reason why I say this for women. So how do we solve this math challenge? The question is x to the power of 2 all over 3 plus x to the power of 1 all over 3 equal to 1. Her, without much waste of time, today no much talk. We'll go straight to solving. So we take a solution here. Mm -hmm. What we do here, looking at this question, we can separate this exponent here, okay? We have a power here, here we have um, a fractional uh, exponent. So let's go ahead and rewrite this expression. So we're going to have here to be our x to the power of 1 all over 3, the close bracket, or raised to the power 2, then plus our x or raised to the power of 1 all over 3 equal to one. We got the Santi here. Easy. So the next thing we do here is to represent x to the power of one all over three with a given alphabet because these these are the same. So we cannot say alert. Um, this time let's use um, a p. So let p be equal to our x to the power of one all over three. So whatever we see s to the power of 1 all over 3, we put in p there, okay? But we can equally make x the subject of the formula from here because at the end, we're going to look for the value of x. So let's simply make x the subject of the formula. So this now implies that we have to cube both sides of this equation to make x stand on its own. So we're going to have p to the power of 3 is equal to x. So let's just hold these equations. Okay, then we go ahead and put this into this. So this man will give us here our p to the power of two plus p the equal to one. Move this one to this side, so we have p square plus p the minus one equal to zero. This is a quadratic equation, so we just have to solve this quadratically using the um, a formula method. So we all know our formula. A formula says that it's going to give us p is equal to minus b plus minus the square root of our b squared then minus for a c right all over our two a we just have to bring the value of a b and c from here so here is going to give us a is equal to a plus one then b is equal to another plus one and our c is equal to minus one. Okay, this is one place, minus one, right? So let's just make a, a simple substitution into this and order So putting all this into our formula here is going to give us here p is equal to our minus one, because we have plus one here, so minus one plus minus Right, the square root of one r to the power of two minus four times uh, what is our a? A is one times one times what is our c minus one? Okay, all right, everything all over two times one. Okay, so this will give us minus one plus minus the square root. Of here we have one minus times minus will give us plus of four and all over two. So we have minus one plus minus the square root of five all over two. So we have two answers for p from here now. So we have here p one is equal to minus one plus the square root of five all over two and p2 is equal to minus 1 minus the square root of 5 all over 2. Recall this, a place where we say let p be equal to something, which is this. So we want to look for the actual value of our x, right? So let's take case 1. So we have here case 1. Case 1 picking p1, right? We equate it to this side, all right? So let's just take this, this is the essence of making our x the subject of the formula. So we're going to have this 
to be our x is equal to our p1 to the power of 3. So what we have as our p1 here, we put it there. So we're going to have our x1, so automatically we have x1 will now be equal to your minus 1 there plus the square root of 5 all over our 2. Everything to the power of 3. Okay, so what do we do? Now we want to rewrite this, but before we write this, let's continue this way. We're going to have a more space. So rewriting this, we're going to have our x1 will now be equal to you are going to have bracket minus 1 all over 2 plus your square root of 5 all over 2, right? All to the power of 3. Agree with this? Okay. So using the binomial expansion, what we do then, we have to make use of the Pascal diagram, which um, for the power of 1, as power of 0, we're going to have 1. Power of 1, we're going to have 1, 1 as the coefficient. And power of uh, 2, we're going to have 1, the 2, 1. And for the power of 3, we're going to have 1, 3, 3, and 1. So we're considering this. Okay? So we're going to consider this now. So how do we put this into this? Now, we want to expand this now. So to expand this, the first term, this, will not be to the power of 3. Now, why this will not be to the power of 0. So, and the coefficient is just 1, so we're going to have this to be a um, bracket up in minus 1 all over 2, all to the power of 3, okay? Then plus, for the second term, the coefficient is going to be 3 into, the first term here will be minus 1 all over 2, all to the power of 2, right? Times the second term here, which is this, the square root of 5 all over 2 to the power of 1, right? There plus the coefficient for the third term will give us here 3, then into, then the first term here is going to give us minus 1 all over 2, all raised to the power of, it will reduce to 1, because here we have 3, 2, and here will be 1, there times, then here we're going to have 5, square root of 5, all over 2, to the power of 2, then, the last term is going to give us this, which is this alone. So we're going to have square root of 5 all over 2, all to the power of 3. Easy? Okay, so let's go ahead and simplify this gradually. So we're going to have this to be, yeah, this to the power of 3 automatically will give us minus 1 all over 8. Then, yeah, we're going to have a positive from here, right? So plus we stick comment here, so we have 3 into, here we're going to have 1 all over 8, then into, there are root 5 all over 2. We are going gradually, then plus on this side, here we're going to give us here a minus. So automatically, let's remove our plus here, so we're going to have minus our 3 bracket 1 all over 2 plus bracket, and here, this will lead, so we now have here 5 all over our 4, right? Close bracket, plus this side we're going to have 5 into the square root of 5 all over 8. I believe there's no confusion here. Okay, so let's go again. We can now use this to open this, use this to open this. So this will now give us here our minus 1 all over 8, then plus this time, this time, this will give us 3 to the square root of 5 all over 2 times um, this will give us 16. Are we going to have 16? Oh, sorry. Yeah, I made a mistake here. Please, let's go back to this. This is going to give us 4, please. So, yeah, we have 4. So, this time, this will give us 8, then minus, yeah, we're going to give us 3. Minus 3 root, uh, that's, um, okay, yeah, minus this times this times this will give us a uh, 15. So we have 15 all over 8. And the last one we have plus 5 root 5 all over 8. Ah, oh, easy. Let's look at this. You discover that the LCM is just 8, 8, 8 here. Yeah. So we cannot add 
or simplified numerator with this denominator we have here now. So let's continue on this side of the board. All right, so let's take our LCM. So this is equal to, this is our LCM, which is eight. So this will give us minus one there plus, here we have three root five, okay? Then here we have minus 15. And lastly, we have plus five root five. Okay, good. So minus one, minus 15, this will give us minus 16, then plus three root five, plus five root um, five, that will give us eight root five. Everything all over eight. We can factor out eight from here. So if we do that, this is going to give us eight into we use it to divide it. This will give us minus two plus here we left with root five plus bracket all over it. So this this leave the system. So we're now having our x one is equal to minus two plus root five. Okay. So we'll solve our x one rather. So this our x one is equal to minus two plus root five. Now, again, we look for our x2. So we have our x2 will now be equal to, different between this and um, x1 and x2, is just that this is going to be minus here. And here we have minus. Here we have minus also. Okay? So let's take that. We're going to have here for our x2, we have minus 1 all over 2, minus root 5 all over 2 all to the power of three so we do the same thing the only thing i'm going to bring out here or let's go systematically let's bring it out in this format so if we go by this this is going to give us here um yeah it's going to give us here minus one all over uh, two all to the power of three there plus three three to the x okay then minus one all over two all to the power of two the dot bracket yeah, will now be minus root 5 all over uh, 2, close bracket, then plus, um, let's continue on this side, this will now give us again 3 into minus 1 all over 2, close bracket, times our minus root 5 all over 2, all to the power of 2, the plus bracket, minus root 5 all over 2, close bracket, all to the power of three. This is just this difference. No more difference here. Okay, so let's go ahead and simplify this. This will now be equal to, again, this will give us minus one all over eight. So we have minus one all over eight. We want to move straight here. So this will give us positive, and this will give us minus. So automatically, we're going to have here to be minus. So this will give us Four, four times this will give us eight. So let's put down our eight first, eight. Then we cannot use three times root five. So we have here three, three root five. Yeah, okay. Then we'll come to this other one. This will give us positive, but we have minus here. So it's going to give us minus. So this times this times this. Here we give us five. And so this will give us 15 all over, this will give us 4 times this to give us 8, all right? Then we come to this next one, this will give us negative, so we have here minus, here is going to give us 5 root 5, everything all over 8. All right, I think we can continue on this little space we have here. Okay, so from here, the LCM, same, so we're going to have our x2 is equal to, let's take our LCM, 8, so we're going to have here, minus 1, then minus 3 root 5, then minus 15, then minus 5 root 5. Easy, so this is equal to minus 1, minus 15, we give us minus 16, then minus 3 root 5, minus 5 root 5, 
then it will give us minus 8 root 5 all over 8. Again, we can factor out 8 from here. So this one will give us here 8. Then 8 here will give us minus 2. Then 8 here will give us 1. Then left with root 5. Close brackets all over 8. This, this leave the system. So we now have our x2 is equal to minus 2 minus root 5. So we can conclude by saying that therefore our x1 is equal to our, our what is our x1 we saw for? We have minus 2 there plus our root 5 and x2 is equal to minus 2 minus root 5. Okay. So these are the two roots that will satisfy the original equation that's made for women. Thanks for being there. If you have any question with regards to this um, challenge or to the approach applied here, drop it in the comment section. Um, remember, I love you all for being there all the time. This is all I must TV and we are there to give you nothing but the best. Hence, we always look at the comments in the comment section and we try to respond to many of them. Okay, those ones that we've not responded to, we urge you don't give up, we'll respond to them. Thanks for the feedback. We really, really appreciate your feedback, the corrections, and all that, all that. Bye for now.